Hey guys, it's Emma, and today I'm going to be showing you how to pierce your ears safely at home. So the things you're going to need is a lighter, two ice cubes, a needle, and the earring that you're going to be using, some hydrogen peroxide, some rubbing alcohol, one sliced apple, any kind of apple you prefer, doesn't really matter, some q-tips, cotton balls, and like a towel, like a little towel or something. So the first thing you're going to want to do is wash your hands. I already did this, so I'm good. But next, you're going to take your needle, and with my needle, what I did was I used a sewing needle, and I just put like um, a mechanical pencil eraser on the end, so it's just easier to control. And then you just take a lighter, and just go through the needle, mm -hmm. and just burn all the germs off. And then next, you're going to take a cotton ball, and put rubbing alcohol on it, and you're gonna just ow oh, needles, huh? And you're just gonna wipe it off and get all the germs off and just get everything clean. And what I recommend doing after you wash your hands, just take the cotton ball with alcohol on it and just like rub it on the tips of your fingers, just so it's extra clean. I don't know. Sounded smart when I thought of it. So next, you're gonna take the other another cotton ball with alcohol on it. And you're just going to take your earring. I'm using a starter earring so it's sharper on the end. And this is just one of mine when I got my ears double pierced. Because I find it easier just to push it through after you pierce it because it's sharper. So you can really use any earring you want but it's easier with a starter earring. But I've used both. So you just clean the backing of that and then just the um, earring as well. And then next what you're going to want to do is take your towel. and. I mean, people say that you should take all your earrings out, but I'm piercing it a little bit farther up, so, I mean, whatever. If it gets infected, just take it out. But my, usually, if you think your ears are infected, they're really not. They're just sore. So I just give it, like, a week or two, and then it'll be fine. So what you're just going to want to do is take the two ice cubes and put them like that and hold them. And then just put one on the front and one on the back of your ear. And numb it to, just so it makes the pain not as bad. It's not even that big of a pain, but it just makes it easier. So you do it for a few minutes, about um, about every 30 to thirty seconds to one minute. Take it off and just squeeze it. And if you feel it, if you can still feel it like when you squeeze it, then you need to numb it more. But if you don't feel it that much, then you can just go ahead and pierce it. So I'm just going to wait. And I'm just piercing one side of my ear today. I have nine piercings total. But... Eight of them are on my ear, and out of eight, I've done four of them myself, but I plan doing more. So I've iced it for about a minute, I don't know, I wasn't counting. I can still kind of feel it, so I just want to be on the safe side and ice it a little bit more. Um, it doesn't hurt to ice it, it doesn't hurt to pierce it pretty much either. I think the worst part about the whole entire piercing is taking out the needle and putting in the earring. But if you use a starter earring, it's not as bad. I mean, it doesn't even hurt, it's just like, you know. You're fine, it's not gonna hurt that bad. Alright, so I've been icing my ear. It's a little red now. Alright, so now my ear is ready. You're gonna take another cotton ball and just put alcohol on your ear to clean it off and get it ready. Then, once you, it's gonna kind of wet from the alcohol, so just take the other side of the cotton ball and dry it off so it's all clean and stuff. And next, you're gonna take a slice of an apple. I prefer the ones it's like really nice and flat because this is what you're going to be using to support your ear as you pierce it. So I don't know if you can see, but I'm just going to line it up. I'm going to look in the mirror and see exactly where I want to pierce it. Alright, so you're just going to take it and make sure it's going straight back. And hold the needle up to it. And just hold the apple there. Just push it through. So now the needle is thrown into the apple and you can remove the apple and the needle is through my ear. And what I might recommend is just leave the needle in your ear for like 20 minutes just so the hole can like, I don't know, it just seems better to do it that way. So I'm just going to wait here for a few minutes and then put the earring in. Okay, so it's only been about 10 minutes so I'm not going to put the earring in yet and my needle is still in my ear. But what I recommend doing is taking a q-tip and dipping it in your rubbing alcohol 
a few times. And then just go around right where you pierced it on your ear. Sorry, that was my phone. That sounded really weird. Just go around where you pierced it and on the back too. It's gonna sting. Um, but that's how you know that it's getting disinfected. It's getting clean. So just do that. And then what else I recommend doing? This might hurt, so if it hurts too much, don't do it. Just hold the eraser, you know, and just spin it side to side. So it just like, I don't know, like loosens up the needle. It makes the hole bigger, so when you can like take it out and put it, the earring in easier. So that's just what I recommend doing. So I'm just going to leave the needle in for about 10 more minutes, so it'll be 20 minutes total. So let's do this a few times. Okay, so it has been 20 minutes since I pierced it, so now comes the time where I put the earring in. But first, what I'm just going to do again, just to clean it off before, is just take a Q-tip with alcohol and rub it around the pierced area just to clean it again before you take the needle out. Ah, that stings. But stinging is good. <laughs> Sorry. But it's good that it sticks because you know it's working, I guess. Okay, next here comes the prettiest part. So, take another slice of apple, or the same one. Alright, are you ready? Take your um, earring, remove the back. Alright, so just set that down. Oops, fix my broken apple. It's gonna bug me. Alright, there we go. Alright, so now twist the needle a few more times. Now it's twisting better. And remove it. Oh, these are removed. Okay, now take your apple and lay on the back of your ear again and just line up the earring with the hole. Alright, hold on. Just, uh, So there's the pierced ear. Blood a little more than I thought I would, but no big deal, it's just blood. So now I'm going to take more alcohol with a Q-tip and just clean it off. Clean it off front and back. And then, um... Just push the earring through all the way. And to clean it, for cleaning it every day, I would use hydrogen peroxide. So right now I'm going to take another Q-tip. Because hydrogen peroxide is what gets rid of infection. And so when it like like bubbles and it fizzes, that means that there's like stuff that needs to be killed. So it's good. every single day when you wake up and when you go to bed, maybe in between, if your ear is like really sore. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that, I'm talking to myself. But you just gotta like clean it around front and back. And then lots of it a lot. So just do that twice a day or three, more the better. And then every day just rotate it. So yeah, I mean, then you're gonna take the backing and put it on. And your ear is pierced. Yay! Thanks for watching.